We're digging deeper into the investigation into a deadly shooting in Whitehaven over the weekend. Two men are now behind bars tonight in connection with that shooting, but we're also learning more about one of the guns police say was used to carry out that crime. Action News 5's Bria Bolden joins us now live from downtown Memphis with more. Bria. Right, well, Memphis police say one of the guns used to carry out that crime had a Glock switch. Now, Glock switches basically turn a semi-automatic handgun into a fully automatic handgun. Memphis police telling us just a few months ago they find at least four Glock switches around Memphis each week. Flowers rest against the door of the table on Elvis Presley Boulevard in Whitehaven after the deaths of owner Alfonso Turner and Darius Day. Their loved ones still piecing together how this all happened. To take someone else's life is unimaginable. I mean, we are disheartened, heartbroken, in pain right now. Two days after gunfire rang out at the restaurant killing both men, Memphis police arrested Darian Banks and Michael Schaefer. According to the affidavit, Banks told police that after trying to break into a car at Turner's restaurant, a man came outside to confront them. Banks said the man shot at them. Banks, Schaefer, and others returned to the business later, firing shots, ultimately killing Turner and Day. Schaefer is charged with theft of property and evading arrest. Banks is charged with two counts of first degree murder, evading arrest, theft of property, and possession of a prohibited weapon. That prohibited weapon, according to a police affidavit, is a Glock semi-automatic handgun with a drum magazine and a Glock switch. Owning one is a federal crime. These are illegal machine gun conversion devices. Essentially, federal law treats them as machine guns. U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Tennessee, Kevin Ritz, and other city leaders announced in May dozens of prosecutions in the Memphis area for owning a Glock switch. The only intent for this type of firearm is to kill and to cause destruction. Memphis police say they don't know how many are on the streets, but their destruction shatters lives. I hate what they did, but um, they just wanted the same things that we all want, but unfortunately didn't know how to go about getting it. So Memphis police also say an AR-15 was found in a stolen Infinity Schaefer and Banks were in. Meanwhile, Schaefer and Banks are both expected for a hearing tomorrow here at 201 Poplar. We plan to be there. Reporting live from downtown Memphis tonight, Rhea Bolden, Action News 5.